into the country this evening where he is facing increasing calls to drop the decision to send Kenyan police officers to Haiti. And even as a section of religious leaders join in the fray of those asking the president to sort out the banditry menace in the country first, well, the president insists that the march to Haiti is on. Our reporter Kisewa Emery with that. One of the most important issues that came out of President William Ruto's official United States state visit was the deployment of Kenyan police officers to the Caribbean nation of Haiti to deal with gangs which continue to cause death and destruction. It is the reason why we made this decision, knowing very well that the responsibility for security in Haiti is a shared responsibility. Every country, like Kenya and others, who believe in freedom, self-determination, who believe in democracy, and who believe in security, will do what Kenya is doing. So we are doing this to forestall and to stop more people losing their lives to gangs. In the final hours of his four-day tour of the U.S., President William Ruto met with U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, where the deployment of the Boys in Blue featured prominently. We, we consider the situation in Haiti that it requires the input, the participation, the contribution of all people, all nations, who believe in self-determination, who believe in freedom. And it's time that we both show up for me. The officers were expected to be deployed Friday, but an advanced team on the ground intimated that some logistics were not ready and hence the postponement. Meanwhile, gang violence in Haiti is getting worse, as three missionaries, including an American couple, were murdered Friday. The administration of U.S. President Joe Biden is pushing for the deployment to be expedited, with gangs controlling most of the nation's capital city, Port-au-Prince. This evening, the president jetted back to the U.S. and he is seemingly coming back to heighten backlash over his unwavering decision. North Rift leaders are strongly opposed to the deployment, questioning why police should be sent to a country 12,000 miles away as the region continues to be terrorized by bandits. The head of the Anglican Church in Kenya, Archbishop Jackson Ole Sapit, joining the fray of those asking the president to drop the idea. Uh, uh, askari wetu kwenda kulinda inje ya Haiti na kuwapatia hawa amani kama sisi kuna sehemu zetu ambazo hazina amani tunaomba ya kwamba uh, uh, tunapofanya hiyo basi tuhakikishe nyumbani ni salama ndio tukue mfano mzuri hata kimataifa the deployment is expected to face significant challenges such as the language barrier rules of engagement and an exit strategy with Haitian gangs also more used to the urban landscape. The deployment would also be wary of not repeating mistakes done by UN interventions in the past, where UN peacekeepers directly caused a cholera epidemic that claimed over 10,000 Haitian lives. The world will be watching. Kisewa Emory, TV 47.